We are Ham Radio. Okay, in order for us to do the next part easily, it's better to use WinSCP or FileZilla to do an SFTP session into your node. It's just easier to copy and paste the text into the files. But with ASL3, you don't have root access with WinSCP or FileZilla for SFTP. So I'm gonna show you the quick and dirty way to do this, but disclaimer, 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 if you don't change this back, you're gonna leave yourself wide open to hackers or, or the like if you're not careful. But here's a quick and easy way to do that. This little method will give you uh, root access into your SSH or SFTP session. So we're gonna type in sudo space nano space forward slash etsy forward slash ssh forward slash sshd underscore c-o-n-f-i-g and hit enter and it's going to bring open this config file and we're going to want to go down to the line that says permit root login now initially this will be commented out with a pound sign and look similar to this but it'll have like passwords denied or something over here but what you're going to do on this line is comment it out in take off those last two words it's two words that are hyphenated replace it with the word yes hit control x yes to save enter to exit and then you're going to want to restart your ssh engine server what have you so we're going to type in sudo and paste in systemctl space restart space ssh hit enter then you're going to type in sudo passwd space or sudo space passwd space root and when you hit enter there it's going to ask you to enter a new password twice that changes your root password i'm not going to do it here because i've already done it so with all of that said we can now go over to our filezilla we can either use FileZilla or if you're in Windows, you can use WinSCP if you'd like. It's whatever your preference is for SFTP. And I already have it configured and I'm going to log in. Mm -hmm. 